the night off. No matter how many times it's said, don't drink and drive, arrest numbers show that thousands of people are doing it anyway. Police say often it's those who teeter between tolerant and tipsy. TV 20 Steve Camping reports proving one of the most common misdemeanors takes a skilled eye and a willful participant. Good evening, Paige. We have an insider's look tonight into how police and future cops train to tackle a crime that all too often ends in tragedy. But if you want to find out who's had a bit too much, you got to loosen your subjects up before they walk that imaginary line. You don't want to make this a $9,000 drink that you're never going to forget. However, these drinks aren't costing anything for these professionals who didn't want to put a face to a beer. For our folks that are volunteering tonight, we're trying to get them between, let's say, a 0 .08, 0 .09 to about a 0 .12. you got to figure a 0 .08 is about, let's say, four beers. They're tossing back and walking the line to help soon-to-be police catch those who shouldn't be on the road. Erratic driving pattern, you know, real um, herky-jerky turns, that sort of thing. Recruit Evan Stone says anytime alcohol is involved in a crash, the percentage of fatalities go way up and just look at how many people in 2009 were charged in seven counties with a DUI and that's just who police caught. In those counties more than 2,000 people were arrested, more than 1,100 in Marion County and over 700 in Alachua County. And one big factor into whether a person goes to the slammer is a simple test. Four, you're going to count nine steps. So obviously if you're a bit impaired it may be difficult to do a field sobriety test but Don here is going to try one out on me and unlike the other participants I haven't had anything to drink. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. As I count for what seems like forever, 21, one thousand, 22, one thousand. It's scary to imagine those who fail these simple tests get behind the wheel. Based on the clues, um, I would say that you're sober. Fortunate words that thousands here in North Central Florida won't hear this year, which has even those not on patrol yet thinking is a crying shame. You may not know um, that you're too impaired to drive. Think before you get in a car. If you've had a couple drinks, it's, it's, it's not worth it. You know, call a friend, um, figure out another way to get home. Now, the average financial cost of a DUI is about 10 grand due to attorney's fees, court costs, and towing. In the past year alone, another 223 people were arrested for DUI by ASO, 416 by GPD, and 622 by the Mary County Sheriff's Office. Steve Campion, TV20 News.